Hello, Cancer, and welcome to your January reading. We're going to take a look at the sun, moon, and rising sign of Cancer. And let me say, your overall message is that there are people and situations that are literally draining your energy. You might feel really tired, and let's face it, a lot of people do, because the end of the year is exhausting. It really is, and I'm recording this at the end of of 2020. Now for those of you who haven't seen the last video that I did, please check that out because it coincides with this one for the month of January. So you guys, you have this big abundant moment coming in for all of you if you choose to do something different. There's somebody that might be disconnecting from them and might be changing the, the direction. Changing the direction of your thinking is what I'm hearing. Changing your thought process for a lot of you. It has nothing to do directly with another. It has to do with you. This is a, an amazing year. 2023 is going to be incredible. It truly is. And with the new moon energy in the month of December, and that's why I want you to look at that other video. I'll try and post it in here for you. But that is rolling right into mid-January. It is one month normally for a moon cycle if you'd like to know more about that subscribe to my free newsletter that's coming out in the january newsletter but this is going all the way through march which gives us this opportunity to create to manifest to actually take action and get what we want not just be on hold the universe works in a crazy crazy kind of way where it can keep us in um like just wait okay just just be patient that would be uh and you have it, everybody has it this month that is the card of temperance right where you have to work with the universal energies and if it's not the right time you're not going to move forward and i feel that's what's been going on for another group of you where it's not about people it's about or you it's about waiting for the universe to come into play so with this energy this is your big green light go it's like get up and go and you're going to know exactly what to do. Very important, uh, they are saying it's very important, especially for those of you who've been working on this, five. Okay, for five years, uh, it's not five months, all right? It's actually a lot longer than that. The energy around it, <coughs> excuse me, is very, very large. Doing it different and keeping the patience and perseverance as you move forward. Because sometimes we have to do it in a different way to get our goal. That doesn't mean stepping on other people. And I mean, there are some that do, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about you doing it different. Right now, I had to get up at 2 a.m. in order to record these videos for you guys because it's super loud in my neighborhood. And, you know, cars, they're working on cars and blowing their lawns and everybody had the day off. And uh, the holiday weekend was uh, very quiet, but so was I. So it's like doing it different in order to get the result that you want, whatever that is for you. Now, Cancers, I feel that when it comes to the career front, we're going to break this down a little bit for you. When it comes to the career front, some of you have been learning, you've been growing, you've been training. I see the training. Um, that could be education, that could be going to university or getting a certification. Um, or just learning over and over and over again. And if you'd like help with that, you can take a look at my website as well. We have the Queen of Swords, and this is learning. You may have been learning how to cut people out of your life, and that's those people that I'm talking about. Whatever this situation is, whatever this experience is, you're literally going to move forward. And I feel a lot of you are going to do it right around the beginning of the month. Um, I, it looks like... Uh, seven to ten days the first seven to ten days of the month you're going to make a decision it's like i don't want to do this anymore i just don't and i'm going to sever ties with anybody who is dishonest any kind of um lack of communication that makes you feel off all right that doesn't mean that you have to let go of anybody who doesn't communicate in your way if it makes you feel out of place if you feel out of sync with whatever's going on, you're going to move forward. You have the world card. Every zodiac sign has the world card. And that is starting a brand new chapter. And that's what you're doing in the first two weeks as you're moving into this new cycle, this new chapter of your life. 
And this is, you may have been blocked, uh, again, 5-7, 5-7, which I just did uh, Gemini, and they had 7 in there. So if you're involved with a Gemini, make sure, or it's in your chart, make sure you look at the Gemini reading. 5-7 years of dealing with this, okay? And it's time for you to make this shift and make this change. Again, the information that I feel that you're learning, this, is, this isn't this is about relocation. It could be for some of you, but it's more about the information you're gaining is giving you the knowledge of knowing what direction to go, what, what change you need to make. Now, we have the Three of Swords here, and the Three of Swords is letting go of exactly what I'm talking about. I, I feel a lot of you, you have somebody around you that is... Um, deceptive, they are dishonest, they uh, jumble the communication. What I mean by that is they send you a text message with this information, then they send you an email over here with another piece of the information, then they send another text message, and then they send a fourth one from a completely different email. These are people who are very manipulative and they tweak it so that you have to stop and go back. None of them will have a title, they won't have a subject line on it, so you have to read every single thing, and these are, they know exactly what they're doing, and that's what I feel is around you, and this might be the one that hurt you, that puts you into the journey of self-reflection, all right, now it's time to release it, it's time to walk away, to let it go, or whatever you need to do, and if it's if you're still in the relationship with them, you have to do it in a different way. You can let it go and still be with that person. That's up to you on how you do it. But this is absolute willpower, and okay, what I'm hearing is willpower, and sh and you had a lot of struggles. All right, they're saying. It's going to take a lot of willpower for you to move past it because of the struggles involved in the situation. So if you are working on a project, if you are involved in a, in a career avenue where there's a lot of struggle, a lot of strife, any kind of relationship that we have with any single uh, area that's causing this conflict, you're moving out of it. It's like, I'm done. Bam, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> now, that doesn't mean that you're going to just blindedly jump into something because in the middle of the month, we've got the Six of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. And this is feeling freedom. This is moving forward. The, the Six of Wands is about victory. It's moving into a different direction because we took action to overcome the struggles. It comes after the Five of Wands. We have the Princess of Swords. This is what I'm talking about. Cancer, you've got something coming in that's going to give you the upper edge to starting this new beginning for you. Now, this might very well be the education that I'm talking about because the Nine of Pentacles is being a teacher. This is a teacher and a student. All right, these two cards um, are teacher and a student when you're looking at tarot itself. And remember that sometimes... The master becomes a student. So this may very well be you being the teacher. And now you're learning something different from whoever you're working with. Same thing if you're in holistic healing. You can learn from your clients so, so much if you're paying attention, right? So there's no ego attached to this on your end. There is no ego. So the anger is gone. The 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 guilt, there's no shame. There's, It's like, you know, I feel good. I feel free to move into the direction that I want, free to be me, free to do what I want to do and create it the way I want to create it because you're really in touch with your intuition. This high priestess, you have all the inner knowing. We all do. We know everything about our lives. We know about our chart. We know about our course, our destiny. So if we don't connect to it, then it makes it difficult and it creates these blockages. And this is moving in a different direction that is going to be very financially uh, stable for those of you when it comes to finance, for sure. So this is an offer, an opportunity coming in right around the mid-month. Um, and that's when things start getting up and going in the month of January. But right around mid-month, you're going to see something online. Make sure you're looking. You've got to take action. 
let's get this straight. A lot of people think if you hear a reading, especially a general reading for free, and it doesn't come true, then they are full of balunky. That's not true because you have things you have to do. So the guidance is take action. All right, look beyond what's in front of you. Use your intuition and base it on your third eye. That means you can't see it right in front of you, but you can see it in the future and pull that future into you. I feel a lot of you, this opportunity is in the world of communication. All right, um, now you may be a telepathic reader. You may be a psychic, you know, a holistic healer, like I already mentioned uh, and this may be very much part of what's going on where you're going to expand, you're going to grow. The abundance is coming in in the month of January. It's the starting point, but it's also a crossover. So it's letting go of everything in the first part of the month. And then in the mid month is when these new things start coming in. And we're going to look at the end of the month in just a minute. Some of you have the ability to see, you can see your own future and, and yet you, you have, it's like, how do I get there? I don't know how to get there. That's the blockage that I'm talking about. And that's that five years, right? You may have been seeing it for the past five years. It may have been since the age of five for some of you, but it's like, you know where you're supposed to be. You see it, you feel it, you know it. And yet you can't quite get there mid-January, you're going to see something run past you. It could be a commercial. It could be one of my videos. It could be taking a new course that's going to just go, here you go. This is what you've been looking for. This is your chariot to move forward. And that's what I feel is going to happen for a lot of you. Enlightenment is going to come down. And that's that beautiful spiritual awareness, the spiritual growth that's inside of you, um, where it's going to actually manifest come into reality for you in mid-January. Now, as we look at the end of the month, this is that big moment for you to uh, be very patient as you are closing out the old. We have the card of temperance and we have the card of of um, the four of pentacles. Uh, yeah, you have something you need to tell someone. You have something you need to say. Now, this might be telling your boss something. Maybe that's giving notice where you work. That might be a, going on a job interview. And for some of you, I do feel it's in relationship, which we're going to look at in just a moment. But whatever this is, it's like you have to get it out and it's stuck. Okay, it's stuck. It's not tight. That means you've been working on it. You've probably been looking in the mirror saying, ah, blah, 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 <laughs> and practicing whatever it is that you need to say. But this is a beautiful, or just thinking it over and over in your head. Um, and don't get too caught up in that energy, right? That's what kept you stuck in the first place, is overthinking and overreacting. <clears throat> the word over is not in the month of January, by the way except the crossover, all right, from the old into the new. That's the only over that you want to focus on. I'm leaving the old and moving into the new. You know, temperance is about patience. It's about perseverance because it takes a lot of perseverance in order to start a new beginning. It takes a lot of patience because we want it and we want it now. I'm tired of this and I want this. I'm tired of not knowing how to get to that. It's like, we want it, we want it now. That's just who we've become as human beings. That's where we go. Uh, this is the card of abundance, and that's what I mean. You have abundance coming in by the end of January. So be patient as you are removing these blockages, as you are finalizing the old and moving into this new. It is literally a crossover period for certain zodiac signs, and you are definitely one of them, um, where you're handling both sides and juggling both sides. And it may really feel a little bit out of balance as you move forward. So we have the Two of Pentacles right here, and it also came out with the Tower. This is absolute change, so you're going to have to keep yourself in balance while you're moving forward. The blockages that have been affecting you, that's your test. Okay, that is your test from the universe where it's like if you do it the way you did before, the results are going to be the same. We can't do it over and over the exact same way and expect it to be different. I had somebody post on uh, on the website, you psychics, you know, for 12 years, you all have been telling me and this person's never had a real reading with me. 
um, you all have been telling me that this is coming and you guys don't know what you're talking about. Well, who's actually blocking themselves is themselves, right? So this tower is that big moment for you to go, oh, I get it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it to myself. I hold the power to make these changes. I work with the universe. I work with the world changes. I work with everything and allow everything to run smoothly while you're balancing out all of this. So, uh, you know, and it's got this beautiful card of abundance. You have new love coming in for some of you. You definitely do. We're going to look at love in just a moment. But let's pull a little bit more detail when it comes to getting some balance and direction um, as far as helping you move forward. Hmm. Make sure that you're taking care of your health. Make sure that you are breathing correctly. We've got some some of you where you might be feeling a lot of uh, congestion, a lot of um, of um, stuffiness. Go to your doctor, okay? And there's a lot of virtual doctors that are out there now. You don't even have to leave your home, but make sure that you get it taken care of by a uh, doctor or a holistic healer, a professional in that area. Um, this will allow your lungs to open up and when your lungs open up you can breathe better and when you breathe better your brain becomes more aware and awakened and we can see more. So if you're suffering from allergies, a cold or uh, sinuses, make sure that you are getting that addressed, any type of physical ailment, all right? Now we have the card of the seven, the ten of wands, swords, and and that is definitely what we're overcoming, is this painful ending to a lot of things that took place in your life. These are people that came in and they said things that hurt you, that did things that hurt you. This is a job that betrayed you. This is just everything, like I spoke about in the beginning. The Ten of Swords is the ending that is flipping over in the month of January into the Ace of Swords. So the detail is it's finalizing that while you're moving forward. And look, it's been a really long time in the making with this card of the Knight of Pentacles. A long time in the making. Now, see, we have a life purpose and we have a soul purpose. And as we look at my readings, I am not a tarot reader. I am not a traditional tarot reader. Let's put it that way. The messages with the tarot card, this is a message that holds a lot of meaning to it in the general tarot itself. This is a very slow moving energy. This is somebody who took a long time to heal, whether that be mentally, emotionally, physically, or spiritually. This is healing your financial sector as well. It's every part of life, however it affects you with that Ten of Swords. That is what's ending. So as we move forward, we see our life and soul purpose. And it may be very different than what we're doing today. You may be retired and yet you feel this calling, this pull. You always knew you were supposed to do something, but you didn't do it. It's going to be tugging at you. Whatever you're meant to do is going to come through in the month of January. Like literally come through for you. Uh, and it's been a really long time for you. You may have been overdue. You may have missed it 10 years ago in the last chapter. You may have missed it 20 years ago. Whatever your age is, this opportunity already came around for you. And it took you backwards in that's why that Ten of Swords is there. Because as we grow into the Emperor and the Empress, we understand how never to stay. Even if we get stabbed in the back, we do not stay in that situation to have them have the ability to continue to put another sword in, another sword in, another sword in, doing it over and over and expecting different results, right? So um, this is your big moment to make the changeover. Now I'm going to stop right here because I am actually going into what I'm meant to do, and that is to help bring in spiritual empowerment, empowerment overall in general for you in your own personal life. That is my purpose. So I will be doing uh, uh, my bi-monthly readings for you. I'll be doing daily messages for you as well. But we're also going to start new channels. I've already started a new channel, which is about uh, sending empaths just like you, just like me, who people who have gone through life experiences where they're sharing it. You're going to like that. That is my new podcast. I hope you watch it. It's wonderful. It's free. 
and I'll be starting a new channel and a brand new website for you guys, a brand new avenue. So you guys, this is incredible. And right now, uh, like myself, I'm changing over and just like you are, you're getting ready to move into your life and soul purpose together. All right, that's the divine masculine, the divine feminine within. A lot of you are aligning in the right moment. So be patient and use temperance to guide you. Use the universal energy to guide you as you move forward. Now, we have the King of Wands. So whatever you've been dealing with, the King of Wands right around mid-month is taking action. So the healing over whatever, this is the crossover, the healing is done. Now it's time to take action. So right around the 13th of January is a very, very big number for all of you. The 13th of the month, that's where you're going to start making the switch over. You're going to feel it kind of coming in just before, and then it's going to carry you into the end of the month. Take action towards what it is you want, and you're going to get this incredible opportunity. Now, the King of Wands, as far as like a career, somehow, some way, a project, this is somebody who's very passionate about what they do. Whether the, if this is a career avenue we're looking at, this is a, a career, uh, 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 this is a company that they love what they do. They believe in their product. They believe in their service. They believe what they're doing is the right direction. They know how to run an organization and they run it very, very well. And because they have such passion in what they do, it, it really generates out to the outside world. So this organization, whoever it is, whether it's a project or a person or the organization, is going to lead you in the right direction. That's my dog, Captain, in the background. He's going to be nudging me. He wants to go outside. We have the Three of Pentacles, and this is creating a unit. This is you becoming a team member. Owning your own business for some of you where you're going to turn it in a totally different direction and you're going to start your own it's very small for some of you. Some of you is going to be huge. All right. But this is owning your own business where your mind, your body and your soul must be in alignment so that you can embrace the energy of the King of Wands. And it's going to be really, really amazing. Now, with that, you have to let go of the old. Because that will pull you backwards. It will it will create a non-profit. Uh, if you're a profit organization, it will make you make no money. <laughs> okay. If you're a non-profit organization, it means that the donations won't come in. So you want to, there he is, he's nudging me. Hello, baby, hello. Um, you want to really look at, stop it. You want to look at moving into this brand new beginning. Um, and you guys will see him more in the upcoming videos. He's going to be on camera. That way he gets to be a part of what I do. He's so cute. You'll love him. He's a golden retriever. Now we have the Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands is just that dynamic energy that I'm talking about where you're moving into a new beginning. That's the detail behind the Ace of Cups. What you are passionate about is what's going to bring you abundance. And that goes right back to the King of Wands. So it may very well be a person. We're going to look at that in just a moment. But this is taking action towards the goal. And you cannot look backwards. We only look backwards. Once we've healed it, we only look backwards to, to oh, I remember that. What happened then? Okay, I want to avoid that. Or I want to tweak it. Okay, we don't stay in the past. That Ten of Swords, we do not ever lie down because you guys are getting ready to actually rise up. You've already gone through so much. This is beautiful. And for those of you looking for this new organization, this new project, this new passionate, exciting adventure, you're definitely going to find it right around the uh, third week of January. Now, I'm seeing some of you want to travel. You want to relocate. Um, I feel it's more travel than it is actually moving uh, and fit this in your, you know, around you if it if it resonates with you. But this is a beautiful, beautiful traveling moment. I'm seeing Ireland. I'm seeing, uh, oh, I'm actually seeing Israel. So some of you are going to do some extensive traveling where you're going to go to a lot of different countries. And we have the King of Pentacles. The money, the abundance, all of that is coming in. This is prosperity. This is moving or traveling for a, a, an opportunity 
an opportunity, whether that be a person or, or a project, a job, this is an opportunity that is going to excite you and help you feel secure in your life. Abundance is on the way for you. So let's take a quick peek at your uh, love life and then I'm going to look at an overall message for each and every one of you too as we go forward. So I hope you are doing well. Please thumbs up this video. I will be closing all of my regular single session readings and we're moving into group sessions, group virtual uh, empowerment retreats and so forth. So you guys, and, and they're on sale. Some are still on sale on my website. You guys, whoever you're dealing with, um, if you are already in a relationship, what I'm seeing is this person and you may have been at odds a little bit, more like not, not necessarily fighting for some of you, uh, internal, you might be fighting internally, but I don't feel it's a verbal uh, altercation and I don't feel it's physical altercation. This is somebody where you both are like silent. You both are sitting in silence and whoever this person is, um, your, your romantic partner, you guys are going to talk. You're going to talk in the month of January because you're going to start it over. Look, we have the nine of swords. So when it comes to your relationship, you may have been, and this is what I said, you may have been arguing in your head. Okay. But not with them. That's the communication that needs to be extended with your current partner. For those of you who are single and you can transform your life, your relationship, for those of you who are single, You can get the right person. You can get the right person. Remember, what we think, we create. We have amazing leaders in our world who have spoken this. They've spoken it because they've lived it. They've experienced it. So if we've lived it and experienced it, we can start giving these quotes out, like mine, is feed the mind, heal the body, and grow the soul. That's from me because that's what we do, right? We have to give good information. And uh, this will help you move out of that stuck energy. All right, here's that communication. So no matter whether you are single, no matter whether you are in a current relationship, you've got communication going back and forth. Wondering, will I meet the person? Yeah, you will. They may be at a distance and they may be the one in Israel or wherever it is, I Ireland, wherever it is. That Because um, I see like four different opportunities, four different locations. And they are uh, not necessarily in your location. They're in different countries. So this is like an international kind of a meeting. Okay, an international meeting for some of you. They may have flown to a different area, but you are going to talk to this person. No matter who they are to you, you have an opportunity to have positive back and forth communication. I feel this person has gone through their own transformation. They may have been drained out with energy, a lack of energy, a lack of, of everything. Okay. And maybe you have too. And now the two of you are coming back around and it's almost like the, you know, the universe is coming in and pushing the two of you back together, pushing you into this relationship. All right, so it is going to be very, very wonderful and amazing for those of you that actually want to revive it. If you don't, you have communication going back and forth to resolve that, to end that situation. Now, I'm going to pull one last card for you, and please remember to watch the last reading that I posted. It is in the playlist for the month of December, and it's the end of the year because it rolls all the way into the month of January, right around the 13th of January, which is your number, by the way. Empathy, okay? Without empathy, we can't let go of the past. We have to have the openness to allow abundance in, and that comes from a place of love. Everything we do in life that is of success comes from a place of love. That means that we love our job. We love our career. We love the education. We love the people we're around where we are on the same page. And most of all, it means self-love, empathy. This is appropriate, okay? Not being over empathetic, but empathy toward the situation or the experience and knowing, using discernment so that it's not overthinking this out. 
if you're really connected and attached to somebody that isn't around you that caused you this ten of swords energy it's time to clear that energy out of your energy field and as you do this you're going to open up and once we open and unblock ourselves okay without love we are blocked and we can either become them or we can become something better than who we are today it's up to us on how we do this but i feel for a lot of you this empathy coming in this is a beautiful beautiful moment to rectify situation doesn't mean with them i'm not saying reconcile with a person i'm saying come to make sense of everything within you and it's going to spiral you right into this brand new beginning really moving towards february and march where each step of the way is going to be higher and higher and higher so you guys i hope you like this video please thumbs up and share and much love and light to each and every one of you